What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel and you're checking out Sniper DPS uh, Stat Priorities, Rotations, and Spec Guide uh, for PvE content. Um, and now for PvE Spec, I do do Marksman now. Uh, I pull about 150 to 200 more DPS than I do with Lethality. The only thing is that it is a lot more harder now. Um, and not that necessarily it's harder, it's just that you really have to have good reaction time. So having something like a Razor Naga is really going to help you just um, have quick reactions with the with the sniper spec. Uh, it is a little bit more tougher if you do key binds and stuff like that uh, with the keyboard. I will also do a lethality spec. Um, it depends on personal preference but still uh, even for moving bosses where um, you would let something with like dots on the first uh, boss for instance of the new raid uh, some people would rather have the dots while they're moving still I rather go marksman because you can still get out a lot of nice burst DPS on that go while moving shield to shield so I will do lethality spec on a new video but right now this is marksman uh, just so you can see what I spec into here everything like I said in, uh, in all my videos is pretty much all my points are pretty much maximized around PvE content so I would try to follow exactly as I do here. Uh, for gearing wise, you want no alacrity. Alacrity is not good, just like on live servers, it does the same thing. Quicker abilities coming out um, means that you're going to use more energy faster. Uh, for uh, sorry about that. For accuracy, you want 100% orange accuracy and 110% um, tech accuracy. Since most of your abilities are white numbers, you're definitely going to want that 100% range accuracy. Uh, no crit at all. Um, like I said in my introduction video, DR is very high for crit, so it's pretty much useless to get anything uh, at a decent crit rating. You're going to pretty much have no power, and there's going to be no balance, so you're better off just going all power. Um, you're going to want to get the, the four set um, uh, PVE set bonus that reduces your takedown and gives you 15% um, uh, energy when activating target acquired which is very helpful um, so that's pretty much it for my spec and my uh, stats and gearing uh, so let's get into the rotation now the rotation is a little bit involved um, but before I get into the main rotation let me just go over something really quick here. Uh, every time you s pop Sniper Valley is a good time to pop your aggro dump, and you're going to have a decision to make when you pop Sniper Valley. Um, what I mean by that is if you are on a moving target boss, uh, that means a boss that you know is not going to sit in that same spot for either duration of orbital strike or just uh, he's just going to sit there for a few seconds and move, I wouldn't risk it still. Or if you have a boss that's going to stay kaput and not move at all, um, then you can go ahead and use all those strike. But if you have that moving boss, every time you pop Sniper Valley is the only time you can use one of these two abilities. Either Explosive Probe, which you use on a moving target boss, or Orbital Strike is when you're going to use it on a uh, kaput boss, the boss that's not going to move at all. Uh, if you know a huge... Um, AOE opportunity is coming up and you still didn't get to your sniper valley in your rotation go ahead and use explosive probe and save orbital strike for that um, huge AOE opportunity that you know is coming up um, I just suggest you're either having target acquired or more preferably a general a general in probe uh, to get your energy back uh, other than that, you really don't want to use those two abilities outside your Sniper Valley because your heat is just going to go plummeting down and you're going to be sitting there with your finger up your ass. Uh, so let's get into the rotation now. For a scatter shot, I only apply this if there is a, um, if there is not, excuse me, if there is not a mercenary DPS or a juggernaut tank in the group. Um, if there's one, if the none of those classes are there then I go ahead and apply scatter shot because the boss is not going to have a armor debuff on him um, either then honestly I really don't exp apply scatter shot at all uh, due to the energy and just the downtime I rather just go ahead and get into my rotation um, 
so that's my personal preference other people like to apply it um it, like i said it's all personal preference but for rotation uh what i do is laser target snipe so that's an instant crit snipe and and it's also going to be uh like i said instant um from when you go crouch so instant crit snipe follow through series of shots follow through sniper valley and then like i said either explosive probe or orbital orbital strike depending on if you know there's an aoe opportunity or if it's a moving or a kaput boss um, followed by a, another series of shots followed by follow through and then i go into a long cast snipe followed by an instant snipe followed by follow through followed by ambush and then follow through um, as you'll see in the rotation here when i do um, a double cast snipe after my first ambush you'll see i'll have to do a third snipe in a row just so i'm not sitting around uh, waiting for my cooldown to come off the ambush but you also gotta remember every time that you use a series of shots two snipes in a row an ambush or a takedown that you're always going to be able to use follow through because it clears the the cooldown off of it so you always got to keep that in um excuse me in um in uh in your head and remind yourself and if i didn't say this already but the best time to pop your aggro dome is during sniper valley um i also always save uh ballistic shields when the ray needs it for aoe targets um people don't like to use suppressive fire but i do um so what i'll normally do is uh, orbital strike frag grenade and suppressive fire normally i'll have to use an adrenaline probe or a target acquired after that to gain some of my energy back uh that's pretty much it for my rotation um so stick around watch my rotation here like subscribe comment and check back for more dps guides and my next video will be Lethality Spec of the Sniper. Peace out, guys.